<laughs> Prepare to be hyped because today we're going to look at probably one of the most requested fans in the history of the Fan Showdown. And I'm not joking, almost every single time I put out a Fan Showdown video, I see at least a comment or two where somebody's like, you should make a fan just like this. Well, today we got that fan and it uses little bitty gears and we love gears on the Fan Showdown. This is the Contra gear fan or this series of parts is the Contra gear fan and it was created by Selby. Now some of the keen-eyed among you might have seen something similar like this on the Fan Showdown Reddit, which yes, there's a Fan Showdown Reddit. I'll leave a link in the description below. But that fan was also created by Selby and this is an updated version of that fan and hopefully it should operate much better. The original version that was posted to Reddit used planetary gears to rotate the secondary fan. However, after seeing the belt driven fan video, Selby decided to revisit his design and try to improve upon it. This time around, rather than planetary gears, Selby is using spur gears. And instead of trying to go all 3D printed for all the parts, Selby added a little bearing to hopefully improve performance. The best part is though, after redesigning this entire fan, Selby decided to go out and research propeller, contra-rotating propeller systems used in the past or used today to see if what he came up with was similar to anything else. And what he came across was the Rolls-Royce Griffin Mark 5758 reduction housing, which was used on the Rolls-Royce Griffin engine. Now the Rolls-Royce Griffin engine started life way back in 1938. And the idea was that that engine was to be used on new aircraft designs, such as the Firefly. However, it was later decided that that engine could be adapted to be used on the Supermarine Spitfire. One of those Griffin powered Supermarine Spitfires, prototype JF321, was also fitted with a Rapal six bladed contra rotating propeller system, which I thought was pretty interesting, but probably one of the most successful or most recognizable aircraft to use the Rolls-Royce Griffin engine along with the contra rotating propeller system was the Avro Shackleton, which actually remained in service all the way up until 1991. I digress. The first thing we got to do is actually try to put this thing together and get it working. Then we can test it with just the dry fan and then we'll add the contra rotating fan to see if it improves performance at all. And then I also decided that I was going to throw in the T33 Mark III along with the cheater housing because so many of you have asked me to put this fan in the cheater housing. I think it's only fit, fitting that we try this fan out and then put it inside the cheater housing to see if it does improve performance. But first thing first, Let's try to build this thing. So the first thing we need is obviously the A12X25. Now this is the drive fan that goes on the hub. And the big thing we gotta do here is make sure we get it as straight as possible. Doesn't look too bad. The next thing is this frame and we need to make sure that doesn't touch at all. Or we might need to add some spacers, but we'll see what we can do. Seems pretty good. Is it still straight? There we go, nice and quiet. Now the gear train goes on something like it's so. So this gear goes here. This larger gear goes up top like that. And you can see, these are pretty small gears, but they actually printed out halfway decent. But you can see as I rotate this fan, it spins this gear, which then drives this gear, which is going to, in the end, drive the secondary fan. You're gonna have to excuse the, the print quality of the secondary fan. I had to print it upside down because that feature is more important than the surface of the fan. So this, is, this had to be up. But you can see that the drive gear has this oval shape that mates with this oval shape that passes through the fan or secondary fan carrier, whatever you would call this part. And the tiny gears inside there then drive this fan. So we should be able to put this bearing. Oh, oh, oh. We should be able to press fit this bearing in here. And this time around, I kind of, I removed the shields from the bearing. I soaked it in some uh, alcohol to remove that gummy lubricant. We're gonna try to get as little friction as possible. Let's put our gears back on real quick. For lubricant this time, I got some of this, some of my gun oil out. I think this might work out better than, I don't know, the, the white lithium grease we used in the past and even the graphite grease we tried to use last time. So we're gonna put just a little bit on the blades, a little bit on the teeth here to try to get the friction down just a little bit. It won't be perfect, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Move that for a second. We're gonna have to come back and glue all this together, but for now we just wanna see if everything fits together well. 
So here's our drive gear. Now this whole deal should fit right over this assembly. If I can get it straight. Oh, there you go. If I flip it over here, you can kind of see how it works. See the secondary gear in there? You see the gear train, how it drives. The secondary fan. So now if I move this lower fan, the upper fan should move in the opposite direction, which it does. That's super cool. Look at it. Now I want to turn it on to see if it can drive at all, but I'm afraid that it, we might lose control of it since it's not glued together. So I guess we'll use this fan controller. Oh, wow. That works way better than I thought. Okay, coolest thing ever. Let's just glue it all together first. All right, everything should be secure, so we're gonna just run it full speed and see exactly if it holds together. Oh my God. Oh, it's found its groove. That thing is working incredibly well. Very impressive. So I stuck a little target on that fan blade. We're gonna see what the RPM of these fans are. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh no. <laughs> Nothing a little bit more glue can't fix. And we're back like nothing ever happened. Oh, it runs so smooth. 1540, 1538 RPM. First things first. Credit where credit's due. This is incredible. The, the fitment is amazing. It just works so well. I obviously had a little bit of a glue issue where everything popped apart, but nothing broke. I just had to find that little tiny gear, put it back together and you turn it on, it works. Obviously the gear train is quite loud, but if you listen very carefully, you can actually hear the two fans passing one, each, one another. <laughs> Also, the fact that this thing's still able to spin at 1,500-ish RPM is incredible. We've had fans by themselves that aren't able to achieve that on the Noctua frame. And this thing is spinning two fans with decent blade angles and an entire gear train with no bearings. The only bearing is this upper fan. The, the little tiny gears, all they have is a little bit of gun oil and that's it. And this thing fires up every single time, no hesitation. A little bit of wobble, but after it gets going, it just runs. It runs well. But I know what you really want to see. You want to see this thing running in the smoke test. And I'm going to say, it looks pretty cool. Now that's a pretty good airflow from 
this assembly. But now it's time to find out, is it really doing anything? Are both of these fans better than, say, just the purple one? Well, let's find out. All right, in its contra-rotating form, let's see what it settles out at. Looks like 688. Now we're up to 691. We'll call it 691. Okay, number to beat, 691. Slowing down. No way. 665. So that means that not only is this an amazing design, but this actually does something. This extra fan on the front does boost the amount of air that this setup can push through this air, this wind tunnel, which is phenomenal. Everybody, <laughs> Selby, round of applause. You are the greatest. You are the goat of the fan showdown as of now. This is, this is incredible. Now we gotta see if the cheater, if the cheater frame makes the T33 Mark III even better. I can't remember what the T33 Mark III's speed was, so I just, we'll remeasure it and then we'll add the, the cheater. Looks like we're settling in around 673, 670, which means the Contra gear fan is still number one, which is pretty incredible. We all know how good the T33 Mark A3 is. So we'll call it 673. Now we'll throw the cheater on there. Looks like we're settling out at 786. <laughs> I did not expect this. So first, let's talk about the cheater. You all thought that the Cheater frame paired with the T33 Mark III would be a better fan. And the numbers show that that's true. The original Cheater produced an airflow of 768 feet per minute. The frame along with the T33 Mark III produced 786. You were correct. If you put the T33 Mark III inside the Cheater frame, you get a better fan. But what's more impressive to me, this, this is just mind blowing to me, is that the Contra with 691 is now in second place of the fan showdown, obviously behind the cheater. But that means that this over-engineered, extremely complex PC fan not only looks incredible, was designed incredibly well, fits together incredibly well, but it performs incredibly well. We all seen that just the drive fan, this purple one here by itself, produced an airflow of 665. When we added the Contra rotating fan on top of it, that boosts its airflow up to 691, and that is incredible. Yes, it's very loud, it's pretty impractical, but it's incredible, and I think it's easy to say that Selby is the greatest of all time when it comes to the fan showdown. And I think the next logical step for all of you out there watching is to take what we've learned here from this incredible design, plus the cheater, and create something that will blow the doors off of every fan ever created from this point forward. This is, you guys are getting, you guys are getting pretty smart. This is incredible what you got, what you all have come up with. This thing though, new favorite. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this episode. I know I did, this turned in, from, this turned into something that I never expected. It started out with me just going, I wonder if this actually works like Selby says to, it does to, Wow, it actually makes the fan better, and that's totally unexpected. Till next time.